And we begin our six o'clock hour with Governor Katie Hobbs delivering her first state of the state address as governor. Governor Hobbs spoke for almost an hour, touching on everything from education and inflation to water and homelessness, lying out what she plans to do during her time in office. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 6. I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Mark Curtis. The speech comes on day one of the new legislature, marking the return of a divided government. Team 12 political insider Bram Resnick was at the speech today and is here to break down some of the big moments. Bram. Yeah, Mark, today was the first test of whether the Democratic governor and Republican legislature can get along and do something for Arizonans. This is the first time in 15 years we have divided government at the Capitol. The early results, not so great, but there's a long way to go. Governor Katie Hobbs' 42-minute State of the State speech was greeted with raucous applause by Democrats. Let's begin to have candid discussions about the issues facing our state and how we can work together. And complete silence by Republicans. The previous legislature passed a massive expansion of school vouchers that lacks accountability and will likely bankrupt this state. Hobbs took direct aim at Republicans' trophy piece of education legislation last year, the largest school voucher expansion in the country. Every student in Arizona is now eligible for state cash to attend private or parochial schools. Any school that accepts taxpayer dollars should have to abide by the same accountability standards that all district schools do. Hobbs wants some accountability for a program that has none. The lead sponsor of the voucher bill was Mum. Are you okay with account a bit more accountability for vouchers? Like I said, details matter. We're going to have to see what everything looks like before we commit to anything at all. Also on Hobbs' to-do list, a more urgent response to the water crisis. She claimed the Ducey administration buried a report showing a West Valley area is far short of the 100-year assured water supply required by law. When it comes to Arizonans' financial struggles, Hobbs wants a child tax credit for low-income families and an end to the state sales tax on diapers and feminine hygiene products. And getting back to this theme of divided government, some Republicans walked out on Governor Hobbs when she said she'd defend reproductive rights. Earlier in the day, a group of more than a dozen Republican lawmakers pledged to bring lawsuits against Hobbs to block what they called her, quote, woke agenda. We're a long way from Kumbaya at the Capitol. And so the shots across the bow are already beginning. But when does the war break out? Is the war over the spending cap on school spending? Is it over water? Is it over immigration? Is it over abortion? Uh, we do hear that the spending cap, there's a lot of good feeling about that, that this could be taken care of easily. We'll see. Governor Hobbs told me she's preparing for a special session. Won't likely be over abortion, although Republicans are expected to per push abortion legislation that Katie Hobbs will likely veto, along with other bills she'll likely veto. That's what you're going to see. You're going to see vetoes in the tens, twenties, perhaps even over a hundred by the time these next four years are over. They'll keep trying, but she will say no.